Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I've been working the last couple of months to give our home office a major makeover. This used to be my office. I did a few small projects in here, but other than that, I kind of neglected the space. There was so much going on in here and it was definitely time for a makeover. In order to make use of more space, we closed off this extra door that goes into the spare room and took out the file cabinet closet, which was a previous DIY project. I was so bummed to see it go, but this will give the spare room more space and will allow me to use the full back wall. My dad was in town and helped us patch up this wall. Now that I have my workshop in the backyard, I handed over the office to my husband and my goal was to make it a more moody and masculine space for him. He's starting an online master's program and he'll be spending lots of time on the computer, so I wanted to give him a designated space for his work, one that reflects his personality and style. I've done some major projects in here, so I want to go back through all those projects and all the final details that it took to get the office to this point. So first up is one of my all-time favorite projects, which is the French door makeover. These used to be ordinary white solid doors. I took them out to the shop, stripped the layers and layers of paint off, cut out the recessed panels and stained them this gorgeous dark brown color. I went to Lowe's where they custom cut some glass for me and then I added the glass to each of the cutouts. New French doors like this would cost over $2,000, so I'm so happy I was able to refurbish them and bring some life back into them. This was a super popular project over on my Instagram, coming in with over 3.7 million views. You can find the full tutorial for these French doors in the description below. Next up, we have these coffered ceilings. I love the coffered ceiling look. We have standard eight foot ceilings, so I opted for a more low profile design. To accomplish this look, I used one by fours sandwiched by two decorative trim pieces. I stained the small trim pieces before install and then used brad nails and adhesive to secure the boards and trim. This is a great project if you're looking to add some character to any room. Check out the link for this tutorial in the description below. These built-in bookshelves were a really fun challenge. Not only does it provide great storage for books and office supplies, but it also adds some really great character to the office. I cut and stained all the individual boards and trim pieces. I assembled three large boxes, built and secured a base for the bookshelves and secured the boxes and spacers. To give it the character, I added some fun detail trim to the front, as well as a more traditional style base trim and crown molding. These shelves are sturdy and adjustable and I had so much fun staging them and adjusting them to display some of Devin's memorabilia. You can find the tutorial for this project linked in the description below as well. So those were the three major projects, but there was still a ton of work to get the office to this point. So let's run through the rest of those projects quickly before the final reveal. The French doors are refurbished, the coffered ceiling is done, and the bookshelves are built. Now I need to work on trimming out the window and continuing the beadboard around the room. I removed all the old caulking. I tried to remove this tile from the windowsill too, but it was really difficult to tear out. So instead I ripped a one by eight board down to cover the tile. I made this board to fit an inch and a half past the window to create a stool. For the left, right, and top part of the windowsill, I ripped down a one by six board to fit flush in the windowsill and secured that with brad nails. For the bottom stool piece, I couldn't nail it into the tile, so I used a strong adhesive and then set some weights on top overnight for it to set. After the sill was all trimmed out, I used some trim to case out the face of the windows. I also cut some window casing to nail below the stool.
The window trim is finished. Now I'm removing all the old base trim around the room to prep for beadboard install. I cut all the beadboard down to size with my circular saw. I measured and marked a level line where I wanted the beadboard to sit, then I secured the beadboard with glue and brad nails. I use my multi-tool to notch out any areas of the base trim. The beadboard is installed, now I'm working on the base trim. I first nailed 1x4s to the base. I left about a half inch gap at the floor that I will cover with the second trim piece. After the 1x4s were secured, I layered on one more decorative base trim to match the style of the bookshelves. I secured this tight to the floor with brad nails. For this awkward transition, I cut a small end cap and glued and taped it in place. To top off the beadboard, I nailed on this decorative molding. Just a few more miscellaneous projects are left. We replaced the light fixture and had it recentered, but that left an ugly hole in the ceiling. I couldn't cover the junction box with drywall, so I used this ceiling box cover. We had old outlets around the room, so I went through and replaced them with updated three-prong outlets.
I found these sconces at an antique store. I'm not able to hardwire them, but I plan to place some battery operated puck lights in here later on so that they're still functional. Before painting the beadboard, I needed to fill all the nail holes and caulk all the seams. I tested some brown paint samples and found the perfect light brown color to accent this space. I primed all the bare wood and the beadboard first before painting. The projects are finished and now it's time for the best part which is adding all the decor and final touches. One thing that I did not get to is finishing the desk. I made this desk a few years ago and haven't gotten around to staining it, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion. Do you think I should stain it dark to match the library or paint it? It's a little beat up, so I definitely need to do something to it. 
I surprised Devin with this new MyView smart monitor from LG. The smart monitor has its own software, unlike most monitors, and can be used as a smart TV and work device alone, even without connecting to a PC. This monitor is extremely versatile and will be a great addition to the new office. You can find the link to this in the description below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to all the home office projects. I hope you enjoyed the process from start to finish. You can find all the project tutorials linked below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I have a few outdoor projects coming up and then it's time to start working on the nursery. I'll see you in the next video.